It's a Magica time for Team Miss Malini with roller coasters and a parade. Bandana Tivari joined our Mintra Masterclass, we invaded File Kanvala's closet, and Pipa Bella delivered our limited edition Miss Malini charms. So this is the blues on Miss Malini's world on TLC. <laughs> We've been having a lot of fun at Team Miss Malini and we've done all sorts of trips but I think theme parks are the most bonding and fun way to spend a day because you get to be kids again. So I thought it would be really fun to take my whole team out on a sunny day in Mumbai to Imagica. We entered the place and even though I'm not much of an outdoorsy person, the place was really colourful. There were all these rides, there was a lot of noise, there was music. It looked like a really fun place to be in. I can't believe you went on all, all those crazy roller coasters. Although there was one I conquered, which I couldn't do the last time. Nitro? What I also like about Imagica is that they're trying different things. And one of the restaurants is actually an African-themed barbecue spot called Zizi. And uh, we got to try quite a few of the different uh, dishes there, and it was actually all really well done. Malini, Noshad, and the rest of the team uh, were signed up to go on the Rajasaurus. It was a pretty well-constructed Right, the storytelling was amazing and, and at this one moment I'm like, this is not a ride, this is like child's play and, and it just drops down. And the other thing that was really fun to do was be on these little pirate ships where you have to shoot each other. Even though it was blazing hot, it was really fun to do that because you could really cool off with the water. And it was the most fun to shoot Anushka because she's very particular about her hair getting wet. It looked like a really fun place to be in. There was a parade, there were people dressed up in these fun costumes, there was candy floss, which was all in all a really good trip. Adun Actor ran a really cool campaign with Be Blunt and we thought it would be really fun to run a contest for people to win a makeover by Aduna Akhtar, the hair ninja herself. And they came and they had such an amazing time. They were super excited and I think they look amazing. Do you have any idea about what you guys would like to do? Or are you going to leave it all to us? I just don't want colour. Otherwise, I'm fine. I can trust you, I think. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So, the uh, same goes for me. So, I don't want to cut my lens short. One of the products is, is this one, which is HD Curl. And I'm going to show you how to use this in your hair, all right? You need to start with the products applying it on the longer hair. So, Ruchi, Snigda, I hope you're very happy with your hair. Very, very happy. OK. Yeah. So, this is for you. Thank you. And that's for you. Hi, you're watching Miss Malini's World on TLC. This is Pail Khanwala. I love Pail Khanwala. I think she's so elegant and we always joke about her style being sadhu chic. <laughs> it's really comfortable and the colours are just delicious. So she opened a store in Kolaba and it just looks stunning. So far I've been painting, so I guess I'm a painter, but now I'm also a clothes maker. I design clothes. I think I would describe my clothes as simple but dramatic and comfortable yet luxurious. 
And then of course, we decided that Marv should go and invade her closet and find out what her favorite pieces are, something that she's never worn, and all sorts of things like that. So take a look. What's hiding behind this? <laughs> These a beautiful mess. doors. Big fat mess. <laughs> Why would you wear this? I've never worn it. <laughs> it's a tribal Chinese That's amazing. Thing, but it's from New York. See, it looks so cool. You see it? It's yeah, quite, quite cool, actually. Put your eyes. <laughs> so here is something I love. By... Miyaki. Mr. Isimiyaki, the engineer oh, of beautiful clothing. It's, I don't know how, like, I don't even have words to explain. Even just his scarves are beautiful. Absolutely. You love this belt. I love, I keep on eyeing this belt. It's amazing, see? This is cool. Cool, huh? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> I know where to find you. And if you guys want to see more about uh, of Pile Store and how fabulous it is and her clothes, log on to MissManli.com. We've done a whole blog on it. Nice Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this here. And I'll see you. Bye. In the show, we eat. No, no, no. You yeah. cook. I eat. You cook. I know you like the blues. Here's one for you. Nashad, I heard you finally got your dream opportunity to cook in Chef Kelvin's kitchen at Ellipsis. Yes. Yes, and it wasn't just any kind of cooking, it was a competition between me and Tanmay. But then he threw in his sous chef. Now, sous chef means that's like his number one like, guy, that's his dude. And uh, we had to cook against him. In the show, we eat. No, no, no. You cook? I eat. You cook. Yeah. We'll be cooking against him, against my sous chef. <laughs> and I will be eating what you guys make. This guy? Yes. This is the sous chef. Oh. <laughs> So what happens is I have one main ingredient with four garnishes. All must be used in this dish. And you have 30 minutes to prepare this from scratch with whatever else you want to use in the kitchen. This is Bombay on a plate. Spicy. Um, good, good. <laughs> I know it's Bombay on a plate. Oh, what's the turnip? Is not uh, the turnip is, you know, it's, it's a palate cleanser. Yeah, it's, it's a very subtle one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> Never seen a man so happy. In yeah, place. I know. Tears of joy, I can see him. It needs salt. There's, there's, there's no salt on, on the plate. Um, it, this is very strange. This is raw, and this is raw. Um, Wait, the chicken is raw, chef? It's it's medium rare. Yeah, very um, artistic. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, right. guys. Okay, moving on. It's cooked properly. It's pureed very nicely. Um, it needs salt. There's no salt in it. You copied that from me. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. Nice idea. Of course, the most embarrassing moment was when Kelvin sous chef, who's a professional, brought out his dish and put it next to mine. I felt sorry for the guy. I mean, I'd be very surprised if he's still working there after competing against me. But to be honest, 
His dish was way better than ours. It was amazing. And I can't believe he pulled it off in 30 minutes. Okay, so just so that you know, we are here with Kelvin at uh, Ellipsis. This is Chomp happening on Miss Marley's World. And I almost beat all these guys, but this guy's the real winner, the sous chef here. And we're gonna get some real, real food from the man himself. As an American, Kelvin knows how to cook meat. And that has to be the brightest part of our meal at Ellipsis. First of all, the pork belly which was melt in your mouth, amazing, in a uh, soft bun. Then the burger, which was amazing, it was juicy, it was wholesome, it was flavorful, it was everything you want in a nice, uh, big burger. So to finish off your day of gluttony, um, we have the Rocky Road. So Rocky Road is supposed to have ice cream, caramel, peanuts, chocolate. I love uh, all century. these things. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Magic! It's rocky. <laughs> rocky magic. My most loved chomping experience on Miss Marley's Absolutely. World. Had a great, great time. Thank you so much, Kelvin. And you guys, <laughs> keep chomping. so excited today because we're gathered at this table because the Miss Malini first edition of jewelry has arrived that we've done with Pippa Bella, Como and Sushi. I'm so excited that we did this. Now, I can't wait to open this box, but first tell us a little bit about Pippa Bella. So Pippa Bella started about two years ago, Como and I are cousins, and we uh, launched a jewelry company because we just felt that there aren't any good quality, affordable, jewelry companies where you know you can buy something without really it hurting your pocket. Yeah. So that was the whole idea behind it. Nice. And now we have our own Miss Malini charm braces. I'm so excited. Okay, I have to open this. There is my signature XOXO and of course hashtags. The OMG because everyone uses that pretty much in every blog title. A little martini glass with a swizzle stick in it. And the LPC, the little pink camera. So how do you how does one get there? own little Miss Malini Loves Pippa Bella. So you can just log on to pippabella.com and go to the Miss Malini Loves PB page and you'll find three steps. Uh, the first step entails you to just buy a base bracelet which is either in silver or gold. Um, then the next step um, involves selecting a charm which is for free. And the third step which is the optional step but you should buy all of them is you can just buy more charms in silver or gold and then just check out. This is Anishka and Maha from Team Miss Malni and you're watching us during our very first Mintra Fashion Masterclass. And we have two very, very exciting guests with us on this hangout. We have Vogue's Bandana Tiwari and our very own boss lady from Miss Malini, Malini Agarwal. Hello! Malini asked Mom and I to host a hangout for the first time in our lives, which was the scariest thing I've ever done. We're going to do something quick something fun and I'm just going to throw some questions and you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Ready? Alright, ready. What is the one thing that you have in your closet that you cannot live without? My shiny shorts. <laughs> you're going to have to go home and send us a picture of them, a selfie in those shorts. Have you ever committed one major fashion faux pas? I definitely have. I'm sure we all have. Well, mine, to tell you the truth, I'm very careless. So I usually walk out with the price tags. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they dangle out and it looks obnoxious. Tell me about one old dying piece of clothing that you have in your wardrobe that you just cannot get rid of. Well, I have a tattered old sari. Oh, really? It was given to me by my grandmother, so I just hang on to it for dear life. Bandana Tiwari is amazing. I'm so impressed. But first, I have to say, I'm so impressed with the two of you handling your own hangout by yourself. It was really fun doing the Vogue and Power pledge with her as well. It's really cool. Vogue and Power campaign is to mobilize our entire community, individuals, communities, hopefully a nation, to do something. Mm -hmm. And of course, all this is directed towards women, and we hope that it opens out the possibility that you can extend your goodwill and your service to empower other women who are not as empowered as yourself. Hi, this is Bandana Tiwari, and you're watching Miss Malini's World on TLC. We're going to try and uh, do this whole marbling technique on coffee mugs so they can have their whole Bollywood angle on that. Hi, I'm 
Shalini, and as you might remember, Shaka guys, I have with Shaka. me the awesome Rob, who's here to teach my girls and boys how to make some amazing arts and crafts themselves. So what are you going to teach them today? Something Bollywood and something fashion. We're going to try and uh, do this whole marbling technique on coffee mugs, so they can have their whole Bollywood angle on that. That's amazing. I love Rob cycling. Mad stuff with <laughs> Rob happening right here at the Team Miss Malini headquarters, which is amazing. Okay, I've planned something really cool and simple for you guys and it involves nail paint which you guys are familiar with. With this, we'll do a really, really awesome marbling effect on this coffee mug so you can sort of personalize your coffee mug. It's really simple. I have some tape here and we need to take a plain white coffee mug. We'll just put the tape around. This will act as a stencil and block off all the nail paint that we are going to put on this. And now we'll take some nail paint and in a tub of water, we'll just drop some. You can add any color you want. I mean, it looks really nice if it's very colorful so that we get like a really cool psychedelic sort of print. Okay, so we are done. Now all we need to do is just dip the cup since I was a kid, I've failed every single arts class that I've ever been a part of. So when Rob told us that we'd be de designing mugs, I was like, you know, this is my like chance to make like a Bollywood memento for myself and, you know, keep on my desk so I can see it every day. So you guys want to try? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's fairly simple. Starting off with a lot of pink. Just remove it? Yes. There you go. So because I'm obsessed with Andaz Apna Apna, I think I'm gonna do Teja Mehu Mark Idar Hai. I'm brilliant. So ladies, I hear you're getting very good at your makeup hacks. What have we learned lately? Well, basically, we just tried out a bunch of, you know, all these tips and tricks that you read online and we want to know if it really works. So we're using really cool Maybelline products, you know, do tricks with our cheeks and our eyes and our lips. In-house makeup hacks. Pretty impressive. See, they're learning so much. Good job, guys. <laughs> We have so many Maybelline products lying around in the office, so we decided to take advantage of that and Devanshi, Shifa and I decided to put on some of it and show you all really cute tips and tricks on how to use it. So what I'm going to show you today is how to smudge proof your lipstick. Apply the Maybelline lip polish onto your lips and take a piece of tissue and hold it on your lips for a second. Then take a brush and dip it into some loose powder. Dab that onto your lips and hold it there for a second. Once that's done, take the tissue out and your lipstick is now smudge proof. I'm going to show you how you can just use a normal card to get your liner and mascara right. Place the card on the corner of your eyes and use your liner all across your lid and then when you're at the end, you can just wing it like this. If you want a cat eye effect, you can just connect your wing back to your liner like this. Hold the card on your lids and above your lashes and apply mascara like so. This will prevent your mascara from smudging onto your lids. You can do the same thing on your bottom lashes like this. Here's how you can get a natural flush using Maybelline's Cheeky Glow. Use a blush brush to apply the cheeky glow to the apples of your cheeks. Once that's done, use the same blush and the brush to apply to your eyelids as well for a natural flushed look. This is the blues on Miss Malini's World on TLC. My name is Mick Clark. I'm a British blues guitarist from London and I've been playing the blues for about 50 years. Eric Clapton 
is one of my big inspirations. B.B. King uh, is definitely the king of the blues. Coming uh, to India with the, the band uh, is a great experience for us because very few uh, British blues people have been over here. We're playing the, simply the blues concert in Mumbai. We're invited over by Anil Matar from the Simply the Blues uh, organization and uh, you know I really thank him for for giving us the chance to come and do this because it's given us the opportunity to play the blues to a whole new audience in India that that, that certainly didn't know my music before and uh, it's, it's really it's really been a, a great buzz and everybody's really really into it it's been great. Mm -hmm. 